Okay, welcome back to the Greek campaign. Let's immediately save ourselves some pain uh, following the events of the previous episode. We're going to cancel all of these siege towers and we're going to throw this army fully into focusing on sap points. Because yeah, I think experience from the previous episode has shown that hoplites on the walls not really a good idea. Um, admittedly in this case we would be going up against um, opposing hoplites but still I think sap points does just work better. It does mean we have to repair the walls afterwards, but I think that's fine. Uh, we're actually going to send these forces, I've decided, to the east instead. So that's going to involve going up in this direction. The reason for that is we should have a strong enough force to push south from Antioch. And we're going to send this force probably to the east instead. So let's send these guys up to the northeast. Because yeah, Hatra's pretty weakly defended. Should be a fairly easy target. Uh, we're going to send some more units to follow up from those. We can just click that right. More units to follow up from the ones we just sent, and then we've got three units of hoplites which we can send from this town towards Mazaka. Over in Mazaka, let's go and recruit some hoplites. Let's recruit some archers in this town, and let's send some archers down to join Mazaka. Then over in the west we've got quite a lot to be getting on with, so we're going to send these units just to the north of Rome. And the reason for that is it does enable us to reach Eretium next turn nice and easily. Uh, we're going to cancel one of these so that we can train a different unit instead. Let's go with Greek Cav. And let's switch over to this, let's build a temple of Nike or a shrine to Nike. Then we're going to take these forces and we're going to board these ships. Okay, so we don't have enough to join up, so what we're going to do is we're going to take three units of these, and... We've got a lot of hoplites already. Perhaps we'll go for Peltasts. It should be fine though, because this turn we don't have enough movement to actually go and land next to Carthage. Uh, so next turn we can potentially split our ships into two forces instead of one. I'm going to send some of these guys across to join up too. Then back in Syracuse we're going to go for crop rotation just to see if we can get that population up, see if we can eventually um, start building some Spartan hoplites. Over in Campus Scythiae we're going to actually fuse a few of these units together. And then we can bring these guys back in. Uh, we can go ahead and train up some more Militia Cav. And let's go for... Could go for sewers. I think we should probably save some of our money though because we are potentially going to be attacked in this part of the world. Let's go for some hoplites there. And then in this town let's go for some Greek cav. Let's send some of these excess units to go and defend our more likely to be attacked town. Then we're going to keep recruiting in Thessalonica because we know for a fact that there is a Julii force approaching the town of Apollonia. Um, we should be pretty well defended here, but I'm not entirely sure what's coming, so... Better to be safe just in case, and I'm hoping the spawn point is not just going to go straight through all of this, but we'll see what happens. This spy has only a 35% chance of getting into this town, so I need to be a little bit careful. I think what I'll do instead is I'll just lurk outside. If we can see both towns at once, that's perfect. Yep, so we can see both towns, we can't see any actual forces, but of course they could be hidden in the trees. So, we'll see what happens at the end of the turn. Then with our 3,000 left to spend, let's go for large mines in Tarsus. And let's just go for a simple temple to Nike or shrine to Nike in Mazaka. Then that's all of our money gone, so I think we're safe just to end the turn. Okay, interestingly, looks like the Seleucids are considering coming to fight us off. We should be fine, but that is slightly unexpected. Uh, a merchant kills another merchant, I'm not sure if that's what's supposed to be happening there, but okay. Scythia has come to bargain or possibly to bribe, let's see what they say. No, they're going for bribes, okay. I wouldn't necessarily mind a ceasefire with them, but let's see what happens. Okay, so this force is nice and safe, and yeah, the thing I forgot to do is I forgot to retrain these. I could have easily retrained them, uh, that would have definitely been a big help because now I'm not sure if we're going to be attacked on our way, but let's just see what happens. So we're going to send everything except one unit, and we're going to go and land next to Carthage, if we can. I'm a bit confused by this now. 
seems to think that we're not taking the men with us. Which apparently we're not. Okay, so the men stay on this tiny boat. Uh, doesn't actually make a difference though, let's just go and drop them off. Oh, there's actually a Carthaginian force right there, so... Just got a chance that we can beat them. Then if we hop onto this ship, we can still get there, and if we send these guys on too... Let's see if that still works. So we can land on this part of the world. First, let's see what these have. So, just some basic infantry, that should be fine. Let's just drop off. Let's fight them off. Okay, so they actually do want to fight us. I think we just go for this, this should be fine. This map looks absolutely horrible. Uh, how do I make this work? I want to fight them in the open just because it keeps things simple. They've got a very slight incline in their favour. Let's group all of these up. Okay, so hoplites, we're going to go for two rows. Let's try it like this. Then a second row. Then Peltasts towards the back. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but let's just give it a go. So they should be in two different forces. Uh, we can see that the reinforcements are coming from that direction, so let's turn and face them straight away. Okay, we're going to rush these across. We're going to send another row of units in behind. Generals to the side and Peltas in the middle. Okay, so let's see what we're up against. So this is General's Bodyguard, Libyan Spearmen, Iberian Infantry, uh, a few elephants actually, slightly unexpected. Okay, let's see, they're actually approaching us a little bit sooner than I expected. I'm going to pull away. We could probably take him, but better to be safe. Okay, General's going to go for the charge. Let's just surround him from all sides. General could be exposed here, it could be really bad. We just have to hope we kill him off first. Now these guys need to... Ah, oh, crap. These guys need to all switch. Enemy general flees. Let's pull our own general away just to be safe. See if we can route them. Now we're going to have to pull away. Okay, so elephants. Looks like we scared them off, or at least they've kind of pulled back a bit. Uh, we should be able to take these on pretty easily with these. Okay, so there's a few routers. These guys are going to charge into these. We should be able to attack them with these. General is safely at the back. These guys have routed. Ah, okay, so these have actually been completely surrounded by uh, the second force, I think, which we weren't exactly sure where they were. Uh, they have caught us out a bit. This could be pretty bad. Going to bring the general. Okay, so these guys are being destroyed by Peltas and things. Uh, let's just keep them going in for now. This is looking pretty bad for this unit. We've got a few units coming in. General goes for the charge. Uh, we do manage to... We managed to break two of them. We do manage to break all three. Perfect. Okay, so we've kind of saved that. Have to be a little bit careful because the general is a bit weakened. Uh, Iberian infantry is still fighting us, but we should be able to bring them down. I'm not sure what else is going on. Okay, so we've won the fight on that side. That's good. Let's bring these back. General has successfully scared these off. Let's keep them out of the fight. Second family member should be okay to chase these down. What else is going on? we still got all these forces to look out for. We do actually, ideally we'd actually kill these off because these are going to be going straight back to the town, but we've not really killed enough of them to actually capture it. Okay, main thing to do now is to not screw up against the rest. So all of these units, which are not doing anything, let's line them up. Okay, 
Okay, it looks like they're actually backing off. Perhaps I should try and chase them down. Yeah, we're going to try and chase them down. We're going to try and re-engage. It's so hard to actually see where they are. Yeah, they're clearly running off. We're going to take everyone off Phalanx Stance and we're just going to try and rush through and catch them out. Might not work, but let's give it a go. Not taking any losses. Yeah, odds of us actually catching them up with anything other than the Cav are pretty low, but we'll see what we can do. So they've got Libyan Spearmen. Libyan Spearmen. Iberian Infantry. Are these guys routing? No, just withdrawing. Okay, so these guys here are probably the best bet because we don't really want to be fighting them. Um, fighting Spearmen with our Cav. I think they'll probably get away with most of their forces. Let's speed this up a bit. Okay, so these guys are actually routing. We could have got more kills here for sure, but I think the main thing, of course, is just to win the fight. This is a little bit risky, but we'll go for the rally troops. See if we can route them. Okay, that doesn't look good. Yep, don't want to go for that. Charge him with these instead. Okay, so we've at least kept these guys in the fight. These guys are routing, so that should be safe. They're going to try and flee again, so we're going to charge into them just to try and bring them back. Because they are withdrawing, they should turn around and fight us. There we go. Okay, let's just clean up as much as we can. Yeah, I think several hundred have escaped, so we've definitely still got another fight coming up. Let's see, so we killed a thousand. They've got just over a thousand left, so yeah, that's not not perfect, but obviously did go pretty well. Uh, we took relatively few losses. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, let's assault the town. Let's go straight for some sap points. A couple of rams. And let's see the mercenary situation. So, lots of mercenaries available, but we will have to split up our forces because we're currently full up. Okay, so this is a bit of a risk, but we could drop off these four units. There's no family member with them, so we can't pick up the mercenaries. So there is the town of Thapsus just to the south. A little bit risky, but we should have some distance to work with, so let's drop off. And let's just see what happens. Let me join these up. Go to blockade. And let's go back to this, let's recruit some hoplites. So we have a couple of sieges or siege assaults that we can do now. Let's start with the Quinkum. This one is just two units of Spear Warband, one unit of Screeching Women. We could probably just auto-resolve this one, to be honest. Uh, but we are going to have to split up these forces a bit, so let's take our valuable units and let's keep them out. The rest of our forces should be able to go in. Okay, so if we step these out, let's see the balance of power. Pretty good. Pretty good. We have got some Cretans, which I'd prefer not to. Let's take the Cretans out, and let's see that again. Oh, the Cretans can't leave. You know what? We've had at least one terrible auto-resolve uh, result, so let's not mess around. Let's go for this manually, and let's do it right. Okay, so Screeching Women should be extremely easy targets for these. 
Group up our Peltas, send them forward too. You have to be a little bit careful of the Watchtower. And the rest we'll just bring up slowly. Okay, so that's everyone on the move with the exception of our two generals who we'll bring up. I oh, know, it's one general and one unit of summations. Summations we really don't want to involve, we want to keep them nice and safe. These guys are firing on the Screeching Women. These guys have pretty much zero defense, so they should drop every single time they get hit by a shot. Should be very easy. Now we've got plenty of ammo, so that should all be fine. These guys are coming up too. Not quite close enough to shoot. There we go, so we're doing some nice damage. Their numbers drop very quickly indeed. They're pretty much completely destroyed. And we've broken our way through, let's see. So we're taking a few losses, let's slow this down. I think we're being shot by the towers, let's have a look. If I can actually click. Okay, so who's shooting us? These guys are getting shot, that must be the towers for sure. Okay, so let's just rush everyone in. Just gonna go with basic hoplites just to stay safe. We should be able to retrain basic hoplites, perhaps not in this town, but certainly at some point. Let's see if we can shoot on the spear warband with these. Okay, Cretans are firing, these guys are moving up into position. If they do come to charge us, we should be the far superior phalanx. I think they have a small hill advantage, but we should be fine. Taking a few losses, these guys can focus on these. Actually taking quite a lot of losses, maybe we should check this. So we are in phalanx position, we are mostly facing the right direction. They're taking zero losses, so something's gone wrong. Let's have a look. So they're starting to take a few losses. They now think defeat is a certainty. Let's just try and rout them. These guys are going to come in. We're going to have to fight them too. Yeah, we're going to have to fight these guys properly too. General goes down. Hang on, that doesn't look right. That looked like a Peltast. That really looked like a Peltast. I'm not sure what I just missed. Is there a Pell test? It looked like a mercenary. Oh, hang on, these are still fighting us. I thought they routed. Okay, so we've taken quite a few losses, but it is just basic hoplites. I think that's fine. Uh, these guys are firing towards the back. These guys still holding out. They think the balance of forces is evenly matched. Let's see if we can scare them off. Okay, there we go, we've finally broken them. Let's try and grab some kills. As these guys are coming back. Not sure what's going on with the formation, but let's see if we can fix it. Another unit comes in, let's just attack them with all four units at once, that should be fine. And then we've got these forces coming in, which we're just going to... throw some javelins at the other spear warband. These guys do route again. Uh, they're not actually engaging now, so let's just pull back a bit. Let's just shoot them. There we go. So they're ready to route as well. Let's just spend all our ammo. Okay, so if both of them engage at once, we should just be able to route them. Uh, they got 74 in that unit, and 13 in the other. Not sure they're going to come out. Still got a few projectiles left. Okay, there might be a better way to do this, but I think we just go for this. All four units at once. Pile in. <laughs> Screeching women. Still a few left. They did screech. Two left at the back. Ready to scare us off, but obviously this is massively in our favour. We are going to take a few losses, but we should just be able to push through these. 
Not got a proper surround going, probably could have done that. But we're not taking too many losses, so that's fine. I think they're just about in the town square, which is going to stop them from routing. Let's just speed this up. Okay, so 600 kills, around 300 losses, that's not too bad. Victory! Okay, so this town, we're just going to play it safe and exterminate. It is a pretty bad town, which means I'm guessing we can't retrain. No. Super basic town. Uh, so those hoplite losses are effectively permanent unless we can find uh, someone else to attack. Let's go see which other towns are around. So there's this town to the north. This is just a basic town as well. Spear Warband. Pretty similar. We can probably just go straight for this. I think we should take just about everyone. I think we should be safe. Let's step out of the town. Okay, we drop this to a low tax rate. Can't train up any peasants. But... I thought there was a few more mercenaries, but I guess not. Gonna have to send a few forces back, so let's just go with these. And that takes these guys up to 105% public order. Let's start moving towards this. Yeah, so if this town gets attacked, it is in trouble, but... I think we just take the chance. Keep going aggressive. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so that's all done. We now have Antioch as well. We're going to... Probably go for that first. Let's see what this situation is. So it's two generals... Going up against... Mostly mercenaries. That could actually be a problem have to be a bit careful. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap a few of these units around. We're going to take the Rhodian Slingers and let's take one or two units of Peltasts. Join up with this force, check the mercenaries again, nothing new available. Maybe the Bedouin Archers. Yeah, I think... No, Peltas should actually help quite a bit. Okay. So that should be strong enough to take on Antioch. Let's go for it. Okay, so we've got three sat points available. This one on the left doesn't look great because there are two arrow towers ready to fire on us if we try to rush through. Uh, this, on the other hand, looks really good. There's just the gate tower and nothing else. Uh, we can rush through both sides at once, and then we've got really easy access to the town square. So I think we focus on those two. Let's group these up. Okay, so we're going to send our weaker units to the sat points. Keep these guys at the back. And I'm not sure we're going to use our cav, but we'll keep them in reserve just in case. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, so they do actually still spawn on the walls. We'll be lucky if they actually stay there, but... They've got a lot of units up there. Phalanx Pikemen. Those are their best units too. Those are the units I'm most scared of. There's literally no reason for them to be on the walls. I have no way of attacking their walls. Uh, but we'll see if they stay there. If we're lucky, we'll get some easy bonus kills. Let's see what happens. Okay, we can see ourselves going towards it. They have not moved yet. This one in particular looks really promising. Let's see what happens. Ah, they have moved. Yeah, they've moved off that one. Ah, this one, I think we should get a few kills. Phalanx Pikeman there. Town Square is almost completely empty. So if we rush that, we should be fine. Yeah, so they're going to be safe on that side. On this side, I think we will get a few kills. About 50 kills, that's not bad. That's actually more than I thought. Okay, so we've taken down the walls. Let's rush everyone through. It's going to be phalanxes against phalanxes, and I think we should be fine just to go straight for it. Ok, 
Okay, so we took a few losses rushing through, but this should be, yeah, just basic militia hoplites. That should be completely fine. Uh, these guys are staying on the tower for now. We've beaten all of this. Let's just go straight through. Okay. So pretty much no resistance at this point. As we go towards the town square, we can see three cav, militia hoplites, and more militia hoplites. That's all going to be fine. They're going to have to come off the gates. I think they are starting to move. But we'll see if we can get ahead of them. We are getting shot to pieces by the towers, and we are going to be shot in the back, but I think our numbers should win this for us. Yeah, that is the problem. We are going to be taking a lot of losses to this, unfortunately. Um, but Militia Hoplites shouldn't be a problem. They're not currently in Phalanx Stance. And again. Looks like we're not either, but we should be. These guys are coming in. These guys too. Could send in my Cav, but I think we just go for a strong push. As they are starting to get onto the ground. Unless your lights are wavering. See if we can push through them. There we go, they do break. Let's rush through. Okay, so we can see chariots, we can see Greek Cav. Got a few more Militia Hoplites in that part, but they're not going to get to us in time. Okay, this is looking very promising. Beating these two, perfect. Phalanx Pikeman still staying on the walls, surprisingly. As looks like the chariots are going to go for us. Let's try and bring them down. If we drop our spears, we should be fine. Yep, we do take them down extremely quickly. Let's push in. It is a bit messy. We've not got our numbers in quite in time. General goes down. Okay, let's see what else is going on. So, these guys are staying there for now. I think once we reach the town square properly, they should come for us. Let's see if we can spread out, if possible. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so these guys are going to go for the militia hoplites. These guys are going to go for... Yeah, let's send most of our units for these, and then this one unit we're going to send for these. Then we've got these guys to hold these off if they try to come for us. Militia Hoplite is coming towards us there, let's just form a bit of a block. In fact, let's just go and attack them because I don't want to get shot to pieces by the towers. Okay, this is super messy. Uh, perhaps we want to just try and get around them manually. Really don't trust this much. These guys should be in Phalanx Stance. We are going to take some unnecessary losses, but once we get into position we should be okay. As uh, we're taking these on, we're in Phalanx Stance. They are actually still confident. Militia Hoplite's there, and Phalanx Pikemen have finally come down. As they have Militia Hoplite's there as well. Okay, so these guys route, that's really promising. They've got the running amok scythe chariots there, we're going to try and avoid those. Super messy. Super messy. Try and fix this a bit. Yeah, that's really not looking good, actually. Um, so if these guys go in, I think we should get them from the flanks. These guys are moving across. Then we should have a few forces to attack them from the side. Looking pretty bad down at the bottom. I'm going to send in 
my solutions. Might be a bit too late. Phalanx Pikeman and Phalanx Pikeman. Yeah, so two units of Phalanx Pikeman, we're going to get crushed. This has started going super messy, but we're about to take the town square. So we'll lose a few units here, that's probably okay, let's not bother with this. Let's just be ready for the Phalanx Pikeman. This should be going fine. There we go, they say defeat seems certain. I'm beginning to worry we're going to get a bit of a mass route, but... It's really just these we have to worry about. I think we can handle the rest. Okay, let's see what else is going on. So, no sign of any other forces. That's good. This is the potential problem area. I have to be a little bit careful. Okay, so Phalanx Pikemen are approaching, let's send these to defend as well. We don't need to win against these, we just need to keep them out of the town square for three minutes. So that should be fine, I'm not confident we win this fight, but... The important thing is, three units of, no, two units of Phalanx Pikemen, one unit of Militia Hoplites, and... They do have this third unit of Phalanx Pikemen on the walls as well. All of that stuff would not have been fun to fight. So... Better if we can just hold them like this. Don't know what's going on here, not sure if it's going well or not. I kind of don't think it is. Let's try and drop our spears. They're trying to run through us, I think. So let's try and kill them off as they go. I think we need to be ready for a few more to come across. Yeah, they're gonna try and run through us. We can't let them reach the town square. We especially can't let them win. It says they're marching. Somehow though, I think we're taking the bulk of the losses. Which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, starting to route there too. Gonna probably bring in the general, I think, because this is starting to look kind of bad. As, uh, okay, they managed to actually get into the town square with some militia hoplites, that's really bad. Send these through. Okay, are these guys doing anything? Shaken, defeat seems certain, that's not good. Okay, so 103 Militia Hoplites, 92 Phalanx Pikemen, 169 Phalanx Pikemen, so yeah, it's, it's not a favourable fight for us at all. I'm gonna try and charge him in the back again, just in case. Timer is back on. This is super messy, we're going to have to retrain. These guys are doing okay, I think. They're going to try and run straight through us. Let's just form up as best we can, stop them getting through. They're almost through to us. We can just kill them off. Yeah, so this whole time I think they have been just charging through us, but they still get kills just because the, the settings are so rigged against us. 100 men left there. That's their strongest unit, I'm pretty sure. Got a few more units joining us, and then these guys just have to stay put for two more minutes. If we can stop them getting through, we should be okay. This unit's still going, and we actually managed to route them. Okay. That was not perfect at all. Um, we did get more kills than losses, but yeah, I didn't actually want to fight those so much. I'm not sure where that Militia Hoplite unit came from. Snuck into the town square. Kept the fight going a bit longer than I would have liked. But we've taken Antioch. 
We can exterminate the population. We can start focusing immediately on retraining. And we should get most of these back. Let's see what we can train as well. Okay, so we can train Armored Hoplite straight away. That's perfect. Three Cav 2, that's pretty good. I think we go Armored Hoplites. And then we can start fusing a couple of these. Okay, so we've got a few full units. Drop these in too. Retrain both of these. There we go, so that's a lot of retraining to be done. We should get most of those forces straight back. Uh, these guys could come to attack us, but I think we can handle those completely fine. Now that we've got a few extra units of hoplites. Uh, we could push on towards Damascus. Not sure that's wise though. Let's send some back up to this guy just to be safe. Okay, then Antioch should be safe. We're going to repair this. We're going to go for the Shrine to Nike. And we're going to keep going in this direction. See what we can see. So there's some rebels there. Go further to the east. And onto the bridge. There are some rebels, but I don't think they're going to catch us out as we go through, which they don't. Just going to try and catch up. Okay, so these guys will go to Mazaka. We've got that one unit of Militia Hoplites there, which I think I'm just going to go and chase down. They rush off into the ships, okay, never mind. Train up some more Hoplites, and probably could have actually joined these up in hindsight, but never mind. Can potentially do that next turn. Plague in Macedonia. Oh crap. I was hoping that wasn't actually affecting us, but it is. Okay, so the plague has kicked in. Thessalonica is losing a lot of men. Found a Julii agent in Tarentum, that's fine. Belazora needs to be upgraded. Okay, so 13k left to spend. We should be good to go for a bit of a push on the Julii. So let's go for Araminum. Then let's see if these guys can reach Eretium. They kind of can. Okay, so we're going to take the full strength units. We're going to go towards this. We can't quite reach, but if we send this guy up, I think that should be fine. They're going to send these back to retrain. Attack with this. Okay, so if we do get attacked, I think these guys should join as reinforcements. There are no mercenaries available, which is not ideal, but we should be able to send up a couple of units of cav. Uh, let's actually go for this guy too. And then Rome is still relatively happy, so let's go for some more peasants. No, let's go for armored hoplites. Let's retrain all of these. Send these up. Okay, that drops Rome to 65% happiness, so we're going to drop them to a low tax rate. We're going to go for the Temple of Nike. And let's also go for some basic armed hoplites. Okay, so Julii Navy is kind of chasing us down. We should be able to win this, though. Yep, so we do win. Uh, we can't go for these ones, but we can chase these down if we want to. I think we should just to stop them all joining up. Okay, so is it worth going to blockade the port? I think it is. Okay, so that all looks pretty good. And a few more forces up. Some more Greek Cav, and train some more peasants. 
Okay, so this has been quite a long turn, but I think we've still got a couple of things left to do. So we've got these forces, we're going to take this man who has one management, that is the deciding factor, which is the reason we're going to send him to go and be a governor of a town. We're going to recruit these, we're going to recruit summation mercs. No, let's not recruit the summation mercs. Can I cancel that? There we go. We're going to recruit the hoplites, we're going to send... So this particular town is guarded by two units of militia hoplites, one unit of horse archers. So I think what we want is mostly just hoplites. Join all of these up. I'm going to go with one unit of Scythian mercenaries. And we're going to push to the south. 100% chance of getting into this, so let's go for it. Then these forces, we're going to recruit the rest of the mercs. And we're going to send these to the east. Okay, so we found the town of Tanais, which is in fact the capital of the Scythians, pretty weakly defended. So next turn, should be able to go for two sieges, or in fact, what is this, some kind of bog? Takes a really long time to get there. Maybe my perspective is just skewed, but I feel like in a turn they should be able to go a bit further than that. Oh well. Trait increase for our spy, that's good. Let's go back to this. So that's all looking fine. Uh, we've moved up to attack this. Aquincum is doing all it can. Uh, this town should probably go for some kind of defense because I'm pretty sure Dacia is going to come and attack us. So let's just go for some more hoplites. Uh, let's go for some Greek cab in this town. There we go. That's a pretty strong defense. That should be fine. Okay, no sign of the Julii from what I can see. So Thessalonica, we have to be really careful. I'm not sure if this unit is carrying the plague. It's a bit of a risk. So perhaps we actually just go back, or perhaps we just stay where we are. Yeah, we don't want the plague to spread, so we're going to have to kind of quarantine Thessalonica a bit. With our 3k left to spend, we're going to go for a few more hoplites in this town. Or in fact, let's go for a spy. This guy can probably push against this, so we scare him off. Then we push towards these, we push them back to the bridge. So next turn we can take them on the bridge, we can go straight for Hatra. And I think this guy should be strong enough to handle everything on his own. Just to be absolutely sure, I guess we could give him some more hoplites. Let's do it. Okay, that looks pretty strong. Alright, so we got 3k left to spend, I'm not exactly sure where to prioritize, but I think Campus Scythiae does make sense, let's go for some more Militia Cav. Retrain these. Then going back to this Capua, we're going to go for the large temple of Nike. And Rome is already busy, let's repair the walls. And we've got 1,000 left to spend. So, let's actually have a look for anywhere with a bad public order situation. Or in fact, still think I might go for a naval assault. Possibly on Egypt. So I'm going to keep training up in Sparta. And I think I'll train up some more archers here as well. And then with my last 500 denarii, I think we're going to go for the Shrine to Hermes in Sinope. Might be forgetting something because we're expanding on so many different fronts, but I think that is the end of a very busy turn, so let's just end it and let's see what happens. So the Seleucids are going to try and spy on us in Antioch, that's fine, they don't have the forces to retake it. Okay, Carthage does not try to resist us, or possibly just comes to... Okay, ask for a ceasefire. Let's see what they'd give us. I'm pretty sure they won't give us much. I asked them for Thapsis. Very demanding. No. Let's see if they resist us. No, they don't. Okay. So the siege continues. House of Julii. Not showing any sign of resistance. Scythia, I think, is still just bribing us. They want to become our protectorate. I think we say no because their capital looks really weak. I think we just keep pushing. Okay, so this force has been attacked by a pretty strong rebel fleet. Uh, we've got some super weak units, so we're pretty much guaranteed to lose, but we actually do win. We lost at least one ship, but that's fine. Man of the hour. Garrison commander. Let's see where this guy is. 
so this guy is in a Quincum, which is perfect, because this is the town that I think is probably most likely to get attacked. Gonna be one of the hardest to defend as well. Death stalks the land. It is currently located entirely in Thessalonica. So hopefully that is successful isolation. And I think we're good to attack this. Can probably just auto-resolve it once we join these in. Let's check this out. Yep, so that's so favourable, I'm just gonna go for auto-resolve. They managed to get loads of kills, which is kind of annoying, but whatever, we've taken their town. Uh, let's start doing some retraining. Family members do survive, so it's not so bad. Uh, we can actually retrain armor top plates too, so let's jump these in. Let's train up some Greek cav. Or in fact, let's go for some archers. Then let's retrain all of these. Okay. So that force is going to come completely back. This force could be a similar situation. We don't have any super high value mercenaries there, so let's see about auto resolving this as well. That looks fine too. There we go, this time they only get 96 casualties. We take this town too. Okay, so we're actually pretty close to finishing off the Julii. Let's repair this stuff. Let's go for Shrine to Hermes. We can find it. There we go. I think Shrine to Hermes in this town too. And let's repair this. In fact, I think Shrine to Nike here does make more sense because it's going to be a bit of a front line. Okay, so we've taken, what is that, four settlements, I think? Move this guy a little bit closer. Let's send these guys to besiege the next city in town. Okay, so in there they've got their governor and two units of axemen, so that's perfect. No horse archers to worry about. So we should be able to take that pretty quickly. Let's build some rams. Okay, so lots of expansion. It's all looking pretty good. Let's just have a quick check of all this so we know about all of this stuff. Let's have a look at this too. Put a couple of towns to the sword. Minos of Pella has improved and he's ready to keep pushing on the Julii, so that's perfect. Okay, well I think we've done enough for this part, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.